Oh, come on. Uh, hello and welcome to Nick W.I. Well, hello, welcome to Nick Wit. I'm your host, Nick. I'm your host, Nick. We're on episode 10. We're on episode 10 and we're talking about Fortnite. This week, we're talking about Fortnite. We're talking about Fortnite. We're on episode 10 and we're talking about Fortnite. Uh, hello. No, they're all in. Hello. Fortnite is quickly becoming the most popular video game online. It's a multi-platform, battle royale style game that has amassed almost 3.4 million users at its peak. Now I'm particularly excited about this episode because it's about video games and it's something that I'm passionate about. And my last few videos have gotten a little too political and there's no way to talk about politics in video games. VIDEO GAMES MAKE PEOPLE VIOLENT! Oh. Video games have become a four billion dollar a year business and a great many children, as you parents know, have put them on their Christmas lists. As ABC's Bill Greenwood reports, there is a growing concern on Capitol Hill that parents who buy some of those games may not realize just how much violence they're getting. Look around a video game store like this one in North Hollywood leaves no doubt about the violence level of the games. And retailers say the more mayhem, the better the sales. Oh boy, if only they had like a rating system like movies or something. The giant Sega Corporation recently introduced a voluntary system to rate video games for use by a general audience, those over 13 and over 17. Okay, back to Fortnite. Kids who play a lot are frustrated, they're anxious, they have a lot of problems with communication, they, get, they have fights within their family, their sibling problems. Those sound like every family's issues. But there are lots of places where youngsters can play video games without such guidance or adult supervision. Okay, we get it. Violent people do violent things and sometimes violent people play video games. Now can we talk about Fortnite? Tommy Lauren admits I kicked my dog five times during live Fox and Friends appearance. Jesus Christ! Coda, why don't you tell the world what you were doing during my entire Fox and Friends hit? Oh, I know! Chewing on her damn bone as loud as she possibly could. So I had to kick her about five times during the show. So thank you, Coda, for that. Whoa, Tommy Lauren needs to lay off the video games. <laughs> there, that ought to shut her up. Probably not, though. With 100 players being able to play at the same time, the rising popularity of Fortnite, as well as the accumulated views on popular streaming sites like Twitch, Fortnite is becoming the most played and most watched game online, possibly of all time. Researchers suggest that our video game industry is hotter than ever this season, and one good reason, Nintendo has introduced some hot new toys. But have things gone a bit too far? This evening, Ken Shockley wraps up a special report on video mania. Does this really have to cost this much? Where should the anger be directed? Not at the parents, but at the, what, the manufacturer. Does it so it has come to this. this Therapy event? sessions for families whom you could call Nintendpendent. Two are boys ages 8 and 12, and the 8-year-old started liking his brother's video games like Call of Duty. <laughs> really I think it's a, big, a really big deal these days because some of these games are, I don't know if y'all know that game, it's a pretty disturbing yeah. game. It's, you know, military special ops. Ah, here I thought my childhood was normal when Daddy Nintendo woke me up for school and Mommy PlayStation kissed me goodnight. Meanwhile, my sisters pulled out each other's hair and screamed curses across the house while I played video games quietly in the same room I neglected my Bible and masturbated. I grew up thinking my first gay encounter would be with a transvestite in a public bathroom, but it actually happened in Good Neighbor with a ghoul named Hancock. Hashtag gay for ghouls. Tommy Lauren kicked her dog. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Those are boobs. I learned that from porn. Well, now that I'm good and pissed off, let's play a game that actually makes people violent. A game that has broken more controllers in my lifetime than any other game combined, and that is Madden. Let's just create a character here. We're gonna call him Tommy, uh, middle name Lauren, last name Dog, and we're gonna make him a kicker. That's right, Tommy Dog Kicker. So what makes people violent? Is it the video games? Or are the people already violent to begin with? Children are impressionable, and they're a product of their own environment. So if you want to be a parent, you're gonna have to be a parent. The TV isn't gonna raise your child. And if you're a non-violent person and love video games, don't have kids.